What would you say if I told you that Texas has its very own battleship? Construction on the USS Texas began in 1910 in Newport Harbor. The Texas and her sister ship, the New York, were a new class of battleship, the New York class. These ships, called dreadnoughts, were bigger, faster, more heavily armed, and more heavily armored than a regular battleship. The Texas was commissioned in 1914 and soon saw combat in the First World War. She sank a German submarine and helped to blockade the North Sea, keeping the German fleet from going into the Atlantic. In 1942, the Texas provided support for the invasion of North Africa and later supported the D-Day invasion, shelling Omaha Beach and Point de Hoc with her massive guns. She next sailed to the Pacific and saw action at the Battle of Iwo Jima and Okinawa, providing naval artillery support for the U.S. Marines assaulting the island. The Texas legislature took over care and maintenance of the warship after she was deactivated. She moved to the San Jacinto Monument, where she became a museum. She was dry docked in 2019 for repair and maintenance. Now, the 110-year-old USS Texas, the last of the dreadnoughts, is searching for a new home, an honor that the cities of Baytown, Galveston, and Beaumont are fiercely competing for. Want more Texas history? Look us up! the Texas Center at Shriner University.